Hi, welcome to Coco Twins, where I'm going to show you how to take this black and white image and turn it into this color image. Here I am showing you the app that I'm using, and the app is called Pigment. Pigment allows you to color in your black and white images. Um, I enjoy using Pigment because of the color palettes. So once Pigment loads up, what you're going to see me do is import the black and white image by selecting import and then selecting load photo and then I select all photos and then I selected the black and white image. Once the black and white image is loaded I'll be able to add the colors that I would like to see in the image and here you see it's loaded up and I'm zooming in to make it a little larger and once everything is okay with how it's set up, if I'm comfortable with it, then I'll come to this screen and I usually select bold so that way the line type is really dark. Once that is loaded up, you'll see the image and then you'll also see the color palette. And the color palette here, um, it's a beautiful color palette but it isn't good for color, for skin color. So I'm selecting the browns. So I selected the brown that I wanted to use, and then I used the fill, which is the second um, green icon that you see highlighted over to your right. So I f I'm filling in the areas now with the colors that I like. And because the eyes aren't um, shaded in as much as I like, I'm selecting the marker, and then I'm gonna go ahead and select the tool which allows me to shade it in um, freehand instead of being restricted to just the uh, open areas which makes it a little easier to shade in. So now I'm going back to the browns where the skin tones is what they call it so that way I can color in the eye. And I'm going back to the feel which is the second icon highlighted again. And now I'm going in to color the, in the earring and I'm using the metals and using the gold zooming back out so I can see the image and if I'm okay with the image which I am I'm going to select the check mark in the upper right hand of the screen and hit save and it's going to save it to my photos now I'm opening up PixArt let me go back go back and I'm going to open up PixArt once I bring it into PixArt I'm going to be able to add the hair so in PixArt, I'm actually going in and looking for the image. Once it loads up, I'll be able to add the image that I want to edit. So I'm selecting Draw. And it's loading. And you'll see all the images that I've edited using PixArt. And once it finishes loading everything, I'll select the plus, which is add the drawing, which is going to give me a, a clean surface to work on. And because I have so much artwork in the app so far, it's taking a little while to load up. But once it loads up, we'll get into it. So let's load. And it's still thinking. So now it's ready to load. So I'm going to select the plus and I'm going to select the page that you saw highlighted. Now I have a white background and I'm going to select the upper right hand arrow. Select edit image. And then I'm going to add the photo, which is the photo that I colored in pigment. And you see it here um, in the top row, which is the beautiful brown lady with the short haircut. And she's loaded up, and now I'm going to make the image bigger. And now that I have the image bigger, now I'm going to go ahead and decide on the hairstyle that I want. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do a ponytail. So now I select Draw, open up my color palette to make sure that black is selected and start to draw the ponytail.
but then I see here that the line weight is too light. So I'm going to increase the line weight so that way her puff ball is really filled in here. So as I'm filling in the puff ball and making it the way that I want it, I'm going to come to an end once I'm satisfied. And then I'm going to open up the stickers palette. Okay. And then the stickers palette, I'm going to choose the first I'm going to try the crown. And you see I'm scrolling through the stickers that I've uploaded so far. And I'm going to select this crown right here and try to place it on her head. But I don't like the way that it looks. But I'm going to play around with it, position it, but then I'm going to go ahead and delete it because I don't like the way that it looks. So I'm going to go back into the stickers, the stickers palette here, and I'm going to scroll through the list until I find something that I like. And I actually like this yellow flower right here. So I'm going to take the yellow flower, add it to her hair, shrink it down, and rotate it until I get it set just the way that I like. Once I have it set to the way that I like, I'm going to select the arrow, or I'm going to go ahead and add a watermark to it. I know some people have asked me how I add my watermarks to my drawings, and this is how I do it. I actually do it in PixArt. And once I get it added, um, I usually make sure I put in my the name of my business and then also a link to my website and then once I get it added and have it positioned the way that I like it positioned I'll change the color and I usually add a um, some type of pattern to it so that way it's not that easy to copy or to take a, a snapshot of it and use it then I'll change the um, make it a little lighter save it and once I have it saved, then I'm ready to go and I can upload it into Adobe Illustrator. I hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you for watching.